Hey, Homestead Prepper. Okay, I want to show you guys my Faraday cage. Uh, and if you don't know what a Faraday cage is, you can look it up. But it's for to protect electronic items against an EMP or a solar event. That's what I'm using that for. And it's just a uh, a barrel that I uh, I got from feed store down the street. It was twenty dollars, fifty two gallons of capacity. Um, I'll open it up in a second. I've got it lined with uh, well. A very unprofessional line with cardboard and some packing down at the bottom but you want to insulate the uh, metal from the stuff you're sticking in there and I've got a couple items here I think that would probably uh, be beneficial in a grid down event or an EMP and one of the main things would be that uh, that chainsaw right there I took the bar off of it in the chain and I think the ability to cut firewood would be uh, very uh, advantageous. Also some communications, that old radio right there. Uh, that's not ammo in that can, those are uh, radios for talking back and forth. I've got uh, some battery drills and I've got a good quality voltmeter, reads DC and AC for troubleshooting. My homemade night vision, I've got some battery chargers here. Now those uh, are uh, infrared uh, flashlights and that is a battery charger for the one on the right it takes a special battery I, I think it's a 16 340 uh, that's just a regular flashlight good quality I have that on hand uh, I've got a another battery charger so just a couple things here I've also got an inverter I need I need to round up a, uh, a charge controller but uh, just you know a few things that uh, might help me get by in a grid down situation or like I said an EMP. Now uh, guys I want to say that if an EMP were to go off that I'm not going to run out here and open that up and pull that stuff out and start using it. Uh, now if it's an emergency I'll pull what I need out of there and when I get done put it back in there and seal it up because uh, as I've said before anybody who would set off an EMP in the United States would probably wait you know two weeks or a little more than two weeks and then they set off another one after everyone got comfortable using all their stuff that they the, the few people that packaged it up uh, so they would burn that stuff up too so uh, I know there's people out there who have great conjecture that uh, small electronics will not be affected you know by an EMP and like you know like a flashlight or something like that and that uh, is a theory I don't have any um, you know uh, any means to test that right now but uh, I'm not taking any chances I'm putting it in, in this Faraday cage and let me just show you I, I, and just let you know I already tried this video by trying to put this on you know <laughs> so it's going to be easier to take it off so this just bolts on here it's got this little ring that comes off like that and then this lid just comes off like that so you can see how crudely I have it uh, done in there but that's just the insulation to keep it from like I said touching the metal I uh, also do have some secondary containment this is um, the inside of uh, one of my metal shipping containers so this should afford me a little bit of protection too so I'm gonna put some of that stuff in there and uh, if you guys have any um, suggestions on what would make uh, a grid down situation a lot better uh, electronic style anyway uh, leave me a comment I got that packed in there kind of loosely, but uh, got room for just a little more stuff. All right, all right, homestead prepper out.